It's Easter week. It's time to get on with the gardening. Uh, Hello and welcome back to MAFT UK and here we are again fishing. It was about time I got the rods back into the water and I'll tell you where I am shortly. In the meantime I have a bit of a guest with me this weekend. Her name is Ellie. She is my other dog and she's been quite naughty up till now and it's been quite hard work because every time I go anywhere near the water she wants to go into it too. And. Um, I guess that's just after years and years of just playing. I've never, she's never come fishing before, and it's it's quite difficult. So, the good news is, I'm completely on my own. There is nobody else here, but there is some bad news, and I'll explain. So, welcome to After UK. What base am I using? Um, well, I've got the traditional sweet corn, I've got some bread in there too, and I've got my obligatory custard. Bit of a summer bait, but um, what I'm going to do is going to mix that grain bait up in a minute and put a little bit out, and when I leave, I'll just drop the rest of it in and feed up whatever, feed up a couple of spots maybe. Uh, I'll just get rid of it. Um, I won't be taking it home with me. Um, the other baits I'm using. DNA baits, Evolution Range Secret 7. I've used this quite a lot. This is the second batch I've bought. Um, I do like these, these are quite good. They work for me. Uh, I, I like the messing around with it too. So um, I do like I do like this concept. So I've got one with just sweet corn on. I've got another one with DNA baits on it. And I've got a few pellets. A few pellets thrown in on top of that. So quite a, a fishy, meaty flavor taste on that. Um, that's again on bottom bait, the sweet corn is on bottom bait and my final bait that I've got is a, is a mainline high-vis pop-up uh, around that I've just got a bit of sweet corn I've actually got around that too some hook bait, some little, little bit of flavor I've got a little some um, Crab pellets, is it crab pellets? Just what? Krill pellets. Krill pellets. I've got some krill uh, beaten syrup. And again, a few of these pellets crushed with my trusty crusher. Um, some of you may notice on the background that I use a traditional tackle box. I do have the flat tackle box, of course I do, but uh, I, I don't know, I just I like that type of tackle box. I guess I've used it all my life and I still use it. It takes up a lot of space and I don't really care. It's just I like using that type of tackle box. So, before anybody says anything. Uh, what else have I got going on? Uh, I was! going to be, because obviously it's uh, parched, not parched, parched, and of course quite often thirsty. Um, I was going to have a bit of a gin tasting session. Um, I was going to bring a bottle of Cotswold gin with me, but it didn't have any in the stock where I was, which is a bit of a shame. So, uh, 
I couldn't find it anyhow. I, I, couldn't, I looked everywhere, I couldn't find it. So I ended up getting a bottle of monkey shoulder uh, whiskey. Very nice whiskey. I have had it before, I have tried it before. So they give that, well, I'll have a few of them later. And I do have my trusty, here it is. And obviously, nothing but fishing would appreciate this. My vintage cider. Well, I am from Somerset, I do have to have cider. It is, I think it's the law. I actually think it's the law. So cheers. It's not early. I don't know what time it is. It took me all day to get here and to get set up and I literally have just set up. Yeah, it's half past three already. I'm feeling quite hungry. Uh, I've got plenty of food. I've got plenty of barbecue coals and I'm gonna have a barbecue tonight. So yeah, uh, now I'm set up. I can relax a little. Um, take the dog off the lead now. Hopefully she won't go too mental and run around. I've got to bait up first. Don't forget the important stuff. Now I've got to go bait up. I can't take her with me because she will jump in the water. So I'll have to uh, walk around separately. You'll have to stay there for a little while, won't you? Because you've been a naughty dog, making too much noise. Crazy dog. There are just fish scales everywhere. It's been devastated. There's just fish scales everywhere. What a, what a f shame. What a shame. Look at that. Just devastation. That's two. That's I mean, all along this bank is just fish scales. It's been completely wiped out. Just going to show you two of the carcasses that I can see. There's one. The bigger one's a bit further up, I'll show you that now. That was a decent fish. That was a decent fish. Not anymore. Despite my efforts, despite me still trying to fish, I feel like downheartened. I feel like I'm just wasting my time. Um, sometimes the challenge is, this has always been um, a very difficult pond. I said in previous videos, it's a difficult pond. If you want to see, um, last year it was called uh, Otter Destroys Carp Lake. Um, and then I came back and I caught a decent fish. I think it was 12 pounds, something like that. And so it was, it was looking up and there was plenty of fish swimming around in it and there was plenty showing and okay it was the summer, um, yeah we're just coming out of the winter so the water is cold etc etc. I haven't seen a single sign of anything, nothing, no, um, as you walk around here what you can usually see is where the fish have been and as they disappear they disturb everything and it, and it gets cloudy, nothing, can't see anything, only the more and more carcasses and scales, the scales over there are not those fish over there, 
and it's just so de it's devastating. Um, it, 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 it really is devastating. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We'll have a walk down to the other lake while I've got enough light just to see if there's anything on them banks too. Ain't coming here again. I think. Oh here we go, scales everywhere here. Bit of a skeleton there, scales there. This place has been eaten alive. Here we go again. This is the next peg along. Scales again. Everywhere. I'm doing this freehand. Sorry for the. Uh, sorry for the. Uh, Wobbly picture, but I'm doing this freehand. Oh dear. A bit of history repeating itself, isn't it? You know, we were here last year looking at exactly the same thing. Uh, I came again in the summer and the carp were swimming around and I found shoals of 10, maybe. And it was, it was good to see and I was really pleased, but I'm afraid the otters know where this place is now. This wasn't a one-off. Wherever they're living, wherever their uh, den is, uh, they're coming back here on a regular basis. Four, one, two, three, four. Four carp on the small pond and a minimum of small, four carp on the bottom lake. <clears throat> I'm afraid as a carp lake, as a carp syndicate, as anything, it, it's gone it's over I've booked on for two days I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay tomorrow I think I may just have a steady pack up in the morning and go because I think I'm wasting my time I think they've all gone there's nothing left in here I think the otter has completely destroyed it but but completely this time there may be a couple of pounders in here but you know I'd love to eat my words. I would love to find, you know, that I was completely wrong and I pull out a nice fish today. That would be fantastic, but I don't think that's gonna happen. As I said, this is a pretty much a repeat of, you know, of, of last year, but this is total devastation this time. Now, I think there were a few, last year, I can't remember, there were, I think there were four in total, five in total. No, there's eight this year. Um, this isn't this isn't an animal just feeding. This is total devastation. This is a wipeout. This is a, a destruction of this pond. And and I know the otter is more um, native than any carp. And I understand that and I totally get that. But what I don't get is people who who condone this sort of thing and say, well, oh, it's perfectly acceptable. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's the otter just having its dinner. No, it's not. They eat the best bits and then they leave the rest. And if there's a big larder of food, they just take all the best bits and leave all the rubbish. Instead of eating the fish in entirety, they'll eat the best bits of the fish and then just go and get another one and get the best bits again. That's what they do. And it's, it's destroyed this lake. It's destroyed it. There is no justification for that. That's not right. That's not right. You cannot go and wipe out a lake and then say, yeah, hey, it's all right, it's a native thing. The farmer should have a sensible means of controlling it. And don't come back with me saying, oh yeah, well, that's what otter fences are for. Yes, 
Yes, they are. Indeed, they are. But can you imagine putting an otter fence around it? It would cost tens of thousands of pounds. You'd need a grant. You would, the, the, the guy wouldn't be able to pay for it himself. It would just cost too much money. Little bit of radiation. Lovely. Dogs asleep in a sleeping bag. Marvellous. Should be nice and warm in there tonight. Facts are facts, I'm afraid. Uh, the only reason I really stayed last night is by the time I realised the damage that had been done. I'd had too many whiskies and a bottle of cider. And as much as that ha pained me to stay here, I had to stay here. So now I could have left like later on in the evening, but I couldn't be bothered. The weather was starting to close in and it rained all night too. So bottom line, I'm sacking it. I'm going to have this coffee, I'm going to pack up nice and steady and I'm going. Uh, I won't go anywhere else, I'll just go straight home. I can't be bothered setting up somewhere else again for another, I've only got another 24 hours and I just can't be bothered. Um, I'm absolutely gutted. I'll never return here. I'll never come back here. And I, that's a real shame. Uh, this, this was actually my most favourite fishing venue of all time because you can come here on your own nobody's gonna mind you, nobody bothers you uh, not even the fish now <laughs> what a shame, what an absolute shame yep, on the way back I'm gonna call into the little town dairy and tell them exactly what I found there's eels and there's small fish in here this is a this is a this is a little coarse fishing lake now it's not a carp lake there ain't no carp left in it the carp are still here they're just on the bank never mind we'll pack up and go home what a disaster I was really looking forward to this too <laughs>